I do believe that there were people of good intent at the schools, but I also know that we sometimes let our systems do the sinning for us. And I am here as a United Church person and a representative of so many people in my church who were caught in a system and did terrible damage. And to each one of you, I say, I and we are so sorry, so sorry. And recognize the pain that spilled from person to generation and to generation. I met someone this morning who said, simply saying sorry doesn't cut it because there's been so much damage. It is maybe an acknowledgement, maybe a first step, maybe a commitment to listen and to keep listening, and then to, in that listening, discover what might come next, to walk together in mutual respect. I don't know what that path looks like, and I've sure learned, but one side doesn't have an answer, especially the side that has done so much damage. I hold this rock that says truth, and I've heard the complexity and the grief of the truth. Our hearts break together, and maybe in the breaking there is some mending. Even in truth-telling, we've opened up a darkness that so many of us want to walk away from. I ask for forgiveness for the not knowing, the not listening, the turning away, not necessarily deliberately chosen, but needing forgiveness no matter what. And I pray in my way that there will be healing for all who have that experience and for their children and their children's children and healing for us as nations together. Someone said, when a friend asked at the death of her mother, when do you get over it? And she answered, you never ever do. You do sometimes learn to carry it differently and perhaps more gently in the time. And maybe together we can learn how to carry it differently. It doesn't stop the pain. It's like carrying bricks, carrying weight, carrying broken heart. But maybe we learn to carry it together, at least differently. And to be thankful for the gifts that are offered from art to perseverance or the phone call made and the book written, Charlene remembered and a mother understood more and forgiven and a struggle and a commitment to your own healing and a love for your children and Ralph an honoring of what you witnessed in the school and in your father. May the spirit be with each of us in his and her own way. In which